one thing was for sure. They both believe Sparks to be a total tool. Be an exciting contest which shows that divorced couples can still have fun together, right? Mythological hero Achilles. C. On the spot dice spin. We are experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. Bob Stewart might be one of the most prolific producers of game shows in the 60s and 70s. He has created so many shows, even if some of them lasted less than a year, with shows like Pyramid, Three on a Match, A Chain Reaction, Jackpot. The list goes on and on, and all of these were great shows. However, he does come up with some of the worst pilots. You may have recalled earlier that we took a look at the second guessers pilot when it was a written induction for Game Show Garbage, and you can't forget about Monday Night Quarterback as well. But when it comes to unsold Bob Stewart pilots, this one truly takes the cake. It is the most laughably bad pilot that you will have ever seen. And I mean literally laughably bad, because you'll be laughing your ass off at this pilot. It's got everything. It's got bad gameplay. It's got lights being blown out for some odd reason. And to top it all off, we got the best host for this pilot in David Letterman. So let's search through the mire known as the Riddlers. This week... Joanne Worley. Bonsoir. Robert Yurick. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> Joyce Boulevard. Hi there. Michael McKeon. Hello. And Deborah Lee Scott. Hello. Will be competing against these five dance instructors on The Riddlers. Shot on November 4th, 1977, The Riddlers is one of the most infamous pilots in game show history. The reason for it being infamous is many, but the biggest one is the host of the pilot. The pilot is also the answer to the question, did David Letterman ever host a game show? Well, he did, but never made it past the pilot stage. So thus begs the question, is David Letterman the only good thing about this pilot? Well, yeah, it's blatantly obvious. Not even him and all of his snarky powers can upheave all of the awfulness that the format has for him. Heck, even Michael McKeon in an interview in 1990 when he was on uh, David Letterman's old Late Show or Late Night with David Letterman when he was on NBC, he even said so in a segment known as this. If we pull the plug <laughs> now, we'll save a, yeah. yeah oh, man, was that, uh, well. But you were funny, though, because you were the first game show host I had ever seen who knew it was crap. Well, it, <laughs> it was, was wonderful. <laughs> And I was very impressed with that. It was a gig, you know? Yeah, it was something it was a to jig. do. The first item going up, first item going up for bid is this wonderful automatic garage door opener. <laughs> David Letterman came to this pilot with guns a blazing. He was one of the sharpest I've ever seen do a show. When it comes to the prime directive of being a conduit to keep the game moving, he did it well enough, but still was able to come with all those quick quips that left a lot of people in stitches. I'm serious. Letterman's hosting of this pilot was nothing short of amazing. It honestly felt like a sketch from his old late night shows, and it was really refreshing. I guess knowing that the format was nothing short of a dead was a motivator to make the show entertaining more than anything else. So yeah, um, about the actual game of the Riddlers, all I could come up with is this. It's a warmed over jackpot before Lynn Boland focus grouped it to hell with a team of five celebrities playing for home viewers going against a team of five contestants with a common bond. Dave would give a riddle to the first person in line. If that person gets it right, they would ask the next person in line to riddle. If they fail to get it right, they stall out and the other team gets to have a go. Once it reaches the last person in line, they would reverse course and go back to the first person in line for a grand total of nine correct answers. Doing that won the game, $500, and a shot at the bonus game. I've rewatched this pilot countless times to come up with a coherent reason why this game doesn't work. And all I can think of is this. If a pilot is to show how smoothly a game is supposed to run, then this pilot does the complete opposite. More often than not, teams stall out and slow the game down to a crawl. The longest runs were by the celebrity team after Michael McKeon and Deborah Lee Scott spent five minutes on one riddle, 
while any other time they spent one minute on five rolls. Not my words, those are Michael McKeon's who said it during an interview that I spliced in earlier. What I also didn't like was the varying difficulty in the riddles. Some of these riddles that they got saddled with were more along the lines of those that had to be solved in order to get the super jackpot. Honestly, the way the riddles are used, it felt like Bob Stewart wanted to just bring back jackpot, but he couldn't do it for some reason. The ring team would get to play the bonus game where instead of riddles, each member was given a quote that a famous person might have said. The first one is the easiest, is worth $100, second $200, third $300, fourth $400, and the last and most difficult one is worth $1,000 for a clean sweep of $2,000. To me, the writing for the quotes was so obtuse that even the sharpest of minds wouldn't have gotten them. At least riddles, you could figure them out in the five or so seconds you had to. These quotes, not so much. Also, the payouts were not that great for 1977. Five people splitting $2,500 if they won the main game and swept the end game was really dinky, even if they did play for the entire week. And that's essentially the gameplay for the Riddlers and the Riddlers in general. The gameplay is crap and the set is generic as all hell. Is it game show garbage? Yeah, absolutely. But you know what? I would still have people watch it just for the antics of David Letterman. He was fantastic in just being his snarky self and working wonders in trying to get the show to work even with everything going wrong with the show, including the lights. The 12 of you will try anything. Oh, bon Dieu, bon cher. I'll see you later. Goodbye, I really had a good time. Bye. Let me try it a little lower. The just 12 little, of you. Uh, just a little sniper fire. <laughs> Happens all the time with a new show. Somebody doesn't like it. Boom. Well, oh. <laughs> now where were we? We're going to say this again and pretend that never happened. Despite the poison gas seeping. <laughs> so that's the Riddler's pilot. David Letterman said in that interview that there would have been two Riddler's pilots, but after that one, Bob Sturr decided to say, eh, we've had enough, and decided to scratch the entire project altogether. Uh, makes me kind of wish we did have that second pilot. Could have had more hilarity of David Letterman and the celebrities. And maybe more busted lights. Anyway, um, I need to bring up a serious matter. Remember last month when I did the Wait Till You Have Kids induction and I said this at the end? The Riddler's pilot with David Letterman as host. The ultimate in unsold pilot turkeys. Well, until something else that's worse comes along. I mean, we haven't seen the... Uh, Card Sharks pilot from 97, MG2 from 1996, the Sale of the Century pilot of Rob... And well... Uh, well... It looks like my first induction for 2019 is going to be the MG2 pilot. Thanks, Wink. Till next time. Bye-bye.